Hey folks, it's Jack and in this video, I'll show you how to add insanely realistic materials and texture to your model using the Matrix X add-on. Even if your model looks super basic like this one, by the end of this guide, it level up from a 5 to a solid 10, all with just a few material tweaks. So let's not waste time, let's dive in. For those of you who never hear of Matrix X add-on, here's a quick breakdown. Matrix X is a one-click material system that adds ultra-realistic texture and imperfection to your model, specifically built for hot surface modeling. Why Matrix X? Because you don't need to waste your time on UV unwrapping. Just pick a material, click, and it's on. It's fully customizable too, tweaking roughness, color, metal level, imperfection size, all inside the end panel. Now take a look at this artwork. Pretty badass, right? How long do you think I spent on texturing it? 30 minutes? 15 minutes? No, just 10 minutes using Matrix X. It almost feels illegal but the results speak for themselves. Less effort, maximum result. And hey, I'm not just showing you this tool, I'm the founder of the Matrix X add-on. So if you ever run in any questions or issue, we got your back. Just join our Discord server, you'll get a direct support, quick answer, and a community of artists using Matrix X every day. We care about your workflow and we are here to help. You can trust us. Now, before we dive into the insane texturing guide, I want to quickly walk you through what's new in the latest version of the Matrix X add on. A lot of users are already using it, so this will help you to get the most out of the update. What changed from version 1.3 to version 1.4? First, we added a new update checker. Just click the help button inside the add-on and you'll see which version you're currently using. For example, right now I'm on version 1.4, so I'm good to go. And if you ever want to update in future, just hit the check for update button. It'll take you straight to my Gumroad page where all the versions are listed. And now here's the best part. Matrix X is one-time purchase, so you'll get all the future updates for free. Just make sure you are logged into the same Gumroad account you used to purchase. From there, go to your library, find the Matrix X, and you'll see every release version available for download. Alright, next, let's talk about a new imperfection we added in the Matrix X 1.4 version. For metal materials, you already have edgeware and dirt, but now we added two brand new options, oxidation and rust. This gives your model that gritty, realistic details, and yes, they are fully customizable. And now for plastic materials, rust doesn't really make any sense, so instead, we added oxidation imperfection just for plastic. And for rubber, we now supported imperfections too. Finally, just one type for now, but it still gives your model that extra bit of realism. So yeah, those are all the new changes on the imperfection systems, and trust me, they make a huge difference in your final look. Now let's talk about one of the biggest additions in version 1.4. We added a new material category called Floor. Inside this, you get two powerful options, Grid Floor and Static Backdrop. With Grid Floor, you can customize two color slots, one of them for base color and another for the grid lines color. Just click on Generate and boom, it's automatically add a clean professional grid texture to your model. But here's an important tip. Grid texture follow your UV, so make sure you scale your object evenly. If you scale only on one axis, the grid might stretch. So that's the one thing you need to keep in your mind. Now, if you want to make the grid bigger or smaller, no problem. Head to the end panel and you'll find an option to adjust the grid scale. Super simple, super clean. Next, we've got static backdrop. If you just want a clean, neutral background for your render, this is perfect. A lot of top artists use this in their artwork to make the subject pop. The default settings are already great, but you still have a few options if you want to tweak the look. And finally, let's talk about a major bug fix we handled in version 1.4. In version 1.3, they linked the material system at a serious issue. When you duplicate an object with the same material and you try to adjust the imperfection settings, it changed all the copies at once, even if you unlink them in the material tab. That's frustrating, right? But in 1.4 version, it fully fixed. Now, if you want to individually adjust the imperfection, just go to the shading tab and click on the small number next to the material name 
that will make it unique to that object. From there, any changes you make will only affect the selected model. This was one of the hardest bugs we ever fixed. But now it's done. Clean, stable, locked in. Now, I'm going to teach you on how you can texture your model like me using Matrix X and on. So, yeah, adding imperfection is very easy if you're using Matrix X. All you have to know is a color combination and how to blend the imperfections with the material. So, that's pretty much it. So, let me show you how to add realistic material. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be using this truck model for the demonstration purpose. First, press the end panel and you have to decide what kind of a material you're going to be using. So for this truck, I'm going to be using a metal material and for the base color, I'm going to go with our something like a darker metal. So instead of just going with a regular uh, black material, I'm slightly moving my slider closer to the green color so that it kind of look like a greenish metal. You can go with like blue or uh, some orange, whatever. But make sure that you don't go with too crazy like a full brightness like this. If you're adding like this parrot color green to your material, it's kind of look like amateur and artificial. So don't, don't go like this crazy. This kind of a gives that nice greenish color and the X code of this color would be 22421F. And for the dirt imperfection, uh, we'll go with somewhere lighter or darker. Since it's a darker metal, the lighter color works but also you have to keep in mind that a full white color which will make it looks uh, amateur so let me add the imperfection it works good but the imperfection are too contrasty uh, it's kind of a looks amateur and it's not really suitable so either if you just want the imperfection to be white what you can do is just come here and just make it a bit darker somewhere between middle of black and white i think we can even go darker yeah if i add this you'll see the imperfection might be seems like it's a uh, very minimal very subtle it's actually blending with the color so make sure that imperfection is very subtle or if you just want the imperfection to be slightly noticeable what you can do is just come here and slightly adjust the uh, brightness like this and click on generate that's pretty much enough but for this tutorial what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the base color x code and coming to the imperfection color and then copy the same code here so this will give me the same color of the main main bstf shadow so next what i'm going to do is coming to the dirt color and slightly move it towards the black Kind of making it a darker and once i done that i just come here and click on generate so now you can see it's even more realistic so that's how you can add a realistic texture to your model all you have to do is copy the color uh, and paste it in the imperfection then slightly make it either darker or lighter but not too dark and not maybe you can just go with a too dark but not too light you know what i mean so that's all you can now adjust the scale value so i'm going to be go with 0 0.04 and i'm going to be adjusting the location so i just drag those x and y value and move yeah this looks cool yeah this looks cool next what i'm going to do is just copy the same mat to few elements so i select this 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 and uh, and also the top machine gun and also select the one that I have at that contain material and then press ctrl L and choose link material next what I'm going to do is adding the secondary color so the greenish is the primary color for the secondary I'm going to be uh, adding something like a black so I come here and remove the saturation to zero and make it a bit darker and for the imperfection I'm going with a white color not too bright um, just something like this and then I'm going to be select this piece and click on generate and that's it next I'm going to be copy the maybe I can just copy the green metal to this one I think 
controller link material i mean select this select this and controller link material same for this next for the tire we actually don't need a metal and switch the material type to rubber i'm just going with a simple rubber material so we don't really need any imperfection for now so i just select the type and click on generate and copy the same mat to the rest of the tires select this select this select the main and press ctrl l and choose link material for the inner wheel we're going to add some imperfections so so select the type to metal and base color to be like somewhere dark gray and the dirt imperfection i'm going to switch to edge wear and the color would be like brighter gray yeah next just click on generate to see the edge wear we have to go to the render view and make sure you're using the cycle as your render engine but right now you see it's not adding the imperfection properly there are few reasons because this wheel is might be slightly rotated or scaled so that way blender can calculate the edge wear so what you need to do is just come here and click on fix edge wear option so this will apply the rotation and scale for your object so yeah you see that uh, how good the imperfection is it kind of uh, makes it look more real if you want you can just adjust the spread value so i think the default value is, looks good but slightly adjust the imperfection to 0.3 yeah that's even more cooler so that's it now copy the same to the rest of the wheel select this select this select this control l link video and for the at the bottom you can see we have some components what i'm going to do is just add some uh, black metal we added earlier so choose this 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 just choose all of them then come here and choose this black metal press ctrl l and link material and also for the inner one select this select this ctrl l link material next for this pipe we have something like a pipe on the top so for this i'm going to be go with something like a steel so you can just come here and add color imperfection if you want or you can just go to the pre-made materials which is uh, under the metal type you have few options you can go with the steel dark steel dark shiny so i'm going to be going with uh, imperfection so i don't really want any pre-made material for now so what i'm going to do is to choose the base color so since it's a steel i'm going to be go with somewhere closer to the white maybe a bright gray and the imperfection type to be edgeware is fine and the color would be slightly darker and then click on generate and to see if it's properly adding imperfection we have to go to the render yeah it adding perfectly so no issues next for the glass for these uh, for the main window glass what i'm, what I'm going to do is switching to glass and choose the color to be like like darker and just click on generate that's it we have some headlight on the top so for this first of all let me just add some base color so choose this body press ctrl l link material and go into edit mode before that we need to assign some emission so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to add a default cube or yeah let's add a cube add a cube or cylinder whatever just to capture the material and i'm going to choose the material type to emission and the color would be like yellow increase the brightness i can't generate and now delete it so the reason why we add and delete is because to uh, get the material in the shaded property so now if i go to the material property you'll see that we added some emission material to our properties so now i'm going to choose this headlight go to the edit mode and isolated select the face press ctrl plus to select all the ports and then come here to the material property click this plus button and assign the emission material we added 
and click on this assign button. So this will only assign the material to the selected portion. Now I feel like the strength is too much so what I'm going to do is going to change it to 3. Yeah that looks good and also we're going to add the emission to this one so let's hide the cutter go to the base mode oops select this two oh, we have to apply the boolean first so i'm going to be apply all the booleans Control a tab base mode select this and press Control plus same for this Control plus plus and come here to the material property and add a new material choose to emission and assign it come on yeah so let's add some same metal to the machine gun so what i'm going to do is select this all and for this and for this cylindrical shape we're going to be add something different so i'm going with a plastic so if you're a beginner just make sure you're adding a three to four color to your model because if you're adding multiple colors you don't know where to add those colors and it's kind of make it look like childish so anyway i'm going to be choose the base color to be like something like gray and remove the saturation to zero maybe a bit maybe a bit darker and the imperfection to be edgeware and the color would be like more black like this and click on generate so let's go to the cycle to see how the imperfection is gonna look yeah it's kind of having some issues so let's click on fix edge wear that's it so same for this choose this plastic material and select this press ctrl l and link material oh fix edge wear to apply properly and then choose this one choose this metal controller link material and for the steel you are going to be copy the same material which is this one so control l link yeah we almost finished that's it that's how simple is it to add a realistic material to your model now if i go to the cycle engine you'll see the real magic this these materials are really works good in cycle engine you can see that how the imperfection are be affecting the model it's more real and more professional it's almost done if you render this and put it into a post processing it feels more cinematic so just make sure post processing is a half portion of rendering so some people are just skipping the post processing i don't know the reason but when you compare the before and after the post processing it's a night and day difference because it's going to take your model from the basic look into more cinematic just by adjusting the light and the contrast and saturation colors and you know just the basic things about photo editing so it does not matter what software you use i personally use adobe lightroom to edit my photo you can use a photoshop whatever software you know just spend a few times editing it just kill your portfolio that's it so if you would like to grab this add-on link in the description if you have any question related to the matrix add-on just join my discord server and ask a question so yeah you can even discuss about this add-on like we need if you have any suggestion about relating to add any materials you can just come there and just discuss we can add it in the future updates now i'm signing off and see you with another unpredictable video.